James Head is the professor of geological sciences at Brown University. He's trained astronaut crews in geology and surface exploration and participated in the selection of landing sites for the Apollo moon program. James, thanks very much indeed for joining us. First of all, uh, celebrations, in Beijing, <laughs> celebrations in Beijing after this successful landing. I mean, it was a tricky operation, wasn't it? Oh, indeed. It's uh, not trivial to land on the far side. First of all, there's no communications unless you put up a satellite, which they, the Chinese have very successfully done with a KGL 1 and 2 satellites. That's enabled them to actually land on the far side. In 2018, with a rover, uh, you know, operating it. So they've already shown that. Now it's sample return from the far side, and the international community is incredibly excited. The headline mission is collecting rock samples. I mean, and not very many as well, a couple of kilos almost certainly undiscovered minerals, but is all of this worth it for a couple of kilos of new material? Well, it sounds like a, a small amount, but actually all these uh, fragments, you get fragments of soil thrown from all over the far side of the moon, within the South Pole Aiken Basin, etc. So it, it's really like a, uh, like a, a smorgasbord, a, a treasure chest of, of different coins and stamps and other kinds of things from different countries, etc. It's really amazing. And so the drill gets the soil with depth, and a scoop gets the soil on the surface so we can study the effects of the of solar radiation and these kinds of things. So it's actually a really, really representative, comprehensive sample. There are thousands of fragments in there, each one which can be studied and dated individually. It's very exciting and incredibly scientific useful. So what kind of stories can these scientific researchers tell us when we get these samples back? Well, it's really important to understand that the Earth is so active that all the record of the early history of the Earth has disappeared. It's, it's been destroyed. So the moon preserves that, but we only have half the moon. Uh, the moon rotates once on its axis every time it goes around, and so we never see, no one has ever seen the far side of the moon from the Earth, only in the space age when we've been able to put satellites in there. And now China has landed on the far side and is going to bring, bring samples back. And the far side is very different than the near side. It's, it's Nobody knows why. And so these samples will help us to understand that, and that may sound arcane, but it really is important because it's our early history. It's also essentially the Rosetta Stone for planetary history and also the model for how we understand other planetary bodies. So it's an incredible, incredible landing and uh, sample collection treasure trust. And we hope to be able to, in fact, have them return to the Earth. Now, this is China's mission, obviously, but you've already said and we recognize there's a huge amount of international interest. What opportunities are there for international collaboration uh, from this project? I mean, will the research be available to all? Well, already there's a ESA and a French experiment and a Pakistani sub-satellite on the mission, so it's already international, no question about that. And with Chang'e 5, which return robotically samples from the near side, um, in fact, the uh, Chinese National Space Administration opened that uh, to applications from international investigators recently. And uh, NASA approved uh, U.S. investigators to apply as well. In fact, at our lab at Brown University, uh, we have been selected for further uh, 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 analysis, if you will, by NASA about, collect, about being able to get the Chang'e 5 samples. So we're very, very happy about that. And China has opened these up to the international community, which I am sure they will do uh, with the Chang'e 6 samples as well. Well, certainly our congratulations go out to the space exploration community on this one. James, thanks very much indeed for joining us this evening. James Head there. Thank you. Exciting times.